All right, guys, quick little video to get your Blue Yeti sounding good for stream and Discord. Okay, first things first, make sure you have Logitech G Hub downloaded because we're going to be using that later in the video to adjust a bunch of the sound properties that you need to adjust. Okay. All right, first step, we're going to go down to the sound settings. We're going to right click, go to your sound settings, scroll down, go to more sound settings. And here we're going to make sure that your headset is set to your default device. Don't disable the speakers Yeti because for some reason when you do, it just causes issues. So down on recording, we'll see here, just set your Yeti to your default device. You're going to right click, go to properties, go to listen, make sure under power management, you have continue running enabled levels. Make sure that this is at 50, any higher or any lower is just going to make your mic sound bad. Advanced, I have the two, two channel, 16 bit, 48,000 Hertz and make sure all these are enabled as well. Okay, that's gonna be it for your desktop settings. All right, and then for your Yeti, we're gonna go ahead and jump into these settings right away. We have your input gain is gonna be at 50, your master output level at 95, high pass I have enabled at 100 hertz, and your voice equalizer I have enabled as well. So these, you can see, you can go ahead and copy these. It's gonna be probably like five, uh, zero and then five again. Okay. Signal cleanup. I have noise reduction enabled at 25. Gate is enabled at negative 60. Compressor is enabled at negative 15. Your de-esser is going to be enabled at negative eight. And the depopper. This one is going to be a little different for everyone. And the reason why I have depopper disabled is because I have a pop filter and a screen on my mic currently. If you don't have this, go ahead and enable it and put that setting right around negative 16. If you do have it, then go ahead and disable it like I did because you don't need it. If you're interested in getting the pop filter and the screen to help out with a bunch of background noise like I did, then I'm going to go ahead and leave the link down in the bio. It's actually a combo kit that comes with the arm, the, pops, the pop filter, and the screen. Okay, and then another huge setting that you're going to need here is go ahead and put your pattern down to the little icon here that looks like a butt cheek or a pac-man and then your gain set it right around here you're not going to want to go any higher than that because it's going to really destroy the quality of your mic okay and then that's pretty much it as far as the mic okay and the limiter i do have enabled as well at five another huge setting that i use that helped out a whole ton is nvidia broadcast make sure that this is enabled at 60. okay and now let's go ahead and open up discord so once you bring it up go down to your user settings you're going to want to go to voice and video on your input device make sure your yeti is selected your output whatever you're using for your output go down to input sensitivity make sure this is disabled i have this all the way down just because you already have this set up in your blue voice so you don't want it to be double stacked because it's just going to start problems okay go ahead and scroll down the next thing we're going to do is under advanced noise suppression is disabled same thing because we have that in blue voice as well voice processing make sure everything under that is disabled if it doesn't let you disable advanced voice activity that's because you just want you need to come back up enable your input sensitivity and then now it's going to let you turn this on and off okay and then make sure you go back up and disable and put sensitivity once you're done with that all right hopefully these settings helped you guys out go ahead and leave a like and a comment if they did and i'll see you guys next time